In this video, we try to connect the formula that you're seeing on the right from our course notes on ordinary annuities um, and a credit card, a sample credit card bill uh, on the left. Okay. So in the past, we've looked at the ordinary annuity formula here. A of T is equal to A0 times this complicated number, number one, which is one plus R over N to the NT plus, uh, and this is an ordinary annuity. So we have some sort of payment, uh, positive R that can be made. Or in the case of a credit card, we're going to be making uh, payments on an account. So that would be minus. We're trying to pay down an amount that we have borrowed. And number two is this complicated expression involving the annual interest rate APR R, the number of compoundings in, and then the total number of time periods in T. Um, so we've looked at in the class about uh, three different variations on this problem. Uh, one called the FV problem where we find the future value of the annuity if the present value is known. So the first thing I want to do is talk about um, uh, matching up some of the formulas and the variables PV and FV that we are seeing uh, on the screen. So uh, notice that um, when we're looking at this credit card account, uh, this is just a generic, uh, a generic uh, sample for educational reasons. Uh, we can see that there is um, some money that has been borrowed, uh, and we had this person had a previous balance of eleven hundred dollars, eleven hundred twenty dollars and fifty five cents. Okay, so they must have uh, charged this amount uh, on credit and they must have made a payment to this account of $250 one month. And we can see here that the, this card has a new balance of $886.41. So in this example, what we're seeing is that the present value a zero, the present value is the balance that is remaining that we have to pay. Okay. Um, we can also see on this screen that to compute um, numbers one and numbers two, uh, it is very important that we know uh, maybe the interest rate at which this credit card is counting uh, accruing interest. Uh, so we had a um, uh, this. Uh, um, amount that we borrowed um, uh, earn some sort of amount of periodic uh, rate, uh, some finance charges, some there was a fee for us borrowing this money and the the rate we can see it here it's uh, in big letters uh, the the R value is the APR the annual percentage rate so you can see that this credit card has an APR of 18.24%. Okay, so 18.24% is the R value. Okay, and we're going to, to make an assumption here. I, I think uh, without it doesn't really say in this problem, but let's let's make a let's make an assumption that n is equal to 12. N is equal to 12 for this problem because uh, we're making monthly payments to this credit card. So it probably uh, just to, to kind of understand some of the numbers going on on the screen here, let's assume that N is equal to 12. So it's going to be very important that there's this R over N quantity. R over N, remember, is the annual percentage rate 0.1824 divided by 12. This is what is called the interest rate uh, per period. Okay, so we can see some of the, the main quantities uh, here. The annual percentage rate, we can see that the principal, how much we have uh, borrowed and how much we have to pay back. And the whole idea with uh, paying back a loan is that uh, the idea is that we want the, the future value to be equal to zero at some point. Okay, so we want to pay off this uh, uh, credit card 
and the quantity, uh, the payment, what they're making a suggestion to us about is that there's a total minimum payment due and we can talk about where this number comes from in another video but just notice on this bill that what we have is the total minimum payment due um, this is uh, uh, coming to us from the PMT column so PMT or the R value if you choose to just to try to pay off this annuity with a regular uh, with a regular payment of $25 per month this this will allow you to pay off the credit card PMT okay so what we don't know in this problem is we don't know um, uh, from this credit card sample uh, how long that it was going to take us to pay off this credit card uh, this bill does not uh, shows us a lot of uh, uh, it shows us a lot of things that they want us to see. They want us to show us different, um, if wanted to, wanted to use your credit card for cash advances or ATM bank transfer account. They give you the different interest rates and you'll notice that these are really high fees for, for, for making these transactions. So they give us a lot of information about, um, about, um, how you know payments how you made your payments so notice that we made payments of uh, 255 250 dollars and 55 cents and this is how that the payments were made out and they've summarized that for us right here so we tried to pay down our previous balance and we still owe 886 dollars and 41 cents and they're saying evidently in this problem that to pay this down we can pay a minimum payment of $25 but they don't say anything about how long it was going to take us to make this payment off so this bill is not complete and it's up for us if you wanted to take all your finance knowledge in the form of these formulas over here we can pretty much answer any sort of finance question that we want okay um, let me pull up on another screen here, uh, over here. Let me bring up another sample of a credit card statement. Okay, uh, we can see here that a different amount, uh, some you know, different sample credit card statement, um, different uh, kind of format, but some of the same information is given. Uh, you know, maybe present value PV, maybe some payment information. And, uh, and you'll notice on this bill, uh, maybe depending on the laws and the rules of uh, how, what credit cards need to disclose to their customers, we can see here some information about, um, it, uh, some information maybe informing the, the the person borrowing the money or on credit um, if you make only the minimum payments they give us some information about time and you can see here how much you'll have to pay uh, to pay to pay off so you'll notice here this uh, sample is saying that if you are borrowing one thousand and ninety seven dollars and eighty two cents that is the a zero amount that this credit card is giving, uh, making us aware that if we borrow this amount, this is our principal, um, and you make only the minimum payment, right, of the minimum payment here is $21, so that's the PMT, that uh, it's going to cost us over 13 years' time $2,035 to borrow $1,097 so we're paying over a thousand dollars to borrow this $1,000 um, if you would like to um, make a larger payment $37 instead of the minimum payment of 21 notice that one can this uh, card is telling us some more numbers that you know for us to make um, decisions about if you want to pay more than the minimum you can pay this credit card off in three years and your total for borrowing $1,097 would be 
And if you can just increase your payments by, what is it, 37 minus 21. So if you can increase your payments by like $16 a month, you can uh, pay off your, your bill and save $697. So on this bill, there's a lot of numbers thrown at us. And my claim is that if we wanted to dig into these numbers, one would simply just need to be using the formulas that over here on the right that we know about. Okay, so you'll notice in this uh, in this credit card statement that they are not. Um, we don't know, for example, the interest rate, the APR. We don't know the interest rate per period. They don't tell us anything about the interest rate except that if you don't make your payment on time, that they could increase your um, APR to a maximum of 29.99%. So that's a very large interest rate, but they don't tell us what our interest rate is at the moment, right? Um, but we could, if we were asked to do so, uh, try to figure out what the interest rate was based on the balance that we have to pay and we might know some information about the, the minimum payment. So we might be able to come up with the, the interest rate that we're being charged using the formulas on the right. So here are the, some, some of uh, bills and uh, the different numbers that are involved. And it's a natural question to wonder where these numbers are coming from. And that will uh, be the subject of the project that uh, will be forthcoming and in the next video I will maybe just kind of give you some hints about uh, where some of these different numbers might come from and different questions that one could ask. So in this